Good evening to you, East Texas, and thank you for starting your week with us this Monday night. Our top story. A search is underway at the moment of a missing Jasper County man. The investigation started when an empty boat was found yesterday morning on Lake Sam Rayburn. Later, authorities found a truck and a trailer off at a public boat ramp off of Recreation Road 255. Our Kiathi Patel is live near the lake in Kiathi. Do you know where in Lake Sam Rayburn that authorities are searching? Celebrate National French Friday. I mean, I'm celebrating already and I have to make a confession. I bought two of these. One for Brad, one for me, and I already ate mine. So these are yours. All right. But I'm we'll still going to pick some anyway. So try one. You have to celebrate. Okay. Over fry. my little salty snack, tell us about the weather. Yeah, and guess what? There's no <laughs> July fry going on right now, so that makes the fries even better. Make up for it with french da -da 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 fries. All right, there you go. There you go, and, Brad. Uh, probably be disrupted with your outdoor bands at some point. All righty. Well, thank you for joining us here at 6. Go grab some french fries and enjoy the rest of your night. Polk County authorities say they caught the man who robbed the same convenience store twice in just a matter of weeks. It happened at a Valero in Moscow. The latest robbery was on Wednesday. We're told Ronnie Rehert forced a customer who was outside into the store and robbed the store before leaving in a truck. Deputies say they followed him into a home in Corrigan and arrested him. They say they found evidence linking him to the robbery of the same store on June 26. I am just so glad that's in Kansas and not in East Texas because it looks like the world is ending right there. Yeah, we typically do not see supercell thunderstorms here in East Texas. Thank goodness. Yeah, they're more prominent there, and those are the type of storms that often produce tornadoes, the long, yes. violent tornadoes. So they kind of look like a spaceship almost when you when you look at them. <laughs> it was scary, but in East Texas, we have some rain, but nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like that. <laughs> just a few cooling downpours from time to time over the next few days. Solid Foundation in Nacogdoches is asking for golf teams to sign up now for a benefit tournament scheduled for this Saturday. Solid Foundation is a tutoring and enrichment program for Nacogdoches students. The golf tournament raises money for worthy youth projects, including the ones going on now through the summer months. They're tricky, so I say yes. better safe than sorry. <laughs> Keep the umbrella handy because the one time you don't have it, that's when you're going to get rained on. Yep, the mother nature, she always <laughs> knows tricky. when you have it. That's She's right. a tricky one. All right, thank you, right. Brad. You <laughs> a nonprofit organization has found a proven way to bring memories back to those suffering with Alzheimer's and dementia, and rehab facilities here in East Texas are putting the method into practice. Our Miranda Rivers shows us how a familiar tune is sparking lost memories. While the governor is pushing for all issues to be handled, Ashby and Clardy feel that some may not make it through before the end of the session. Now from state politics to national, the clock is ticking again on Republican efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare. Senate Republicans returned to Capitol Hill today. At least 10 moderate and conservative Republican senators are not supporting a new repeal bill, effectively killing its passage. But some senators are still hopeful to honor a Republican election promise to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. With all that's going on in politics in this country, the fact that there are still military units overseas serving in harm's way can sometimes be lost. But One East Texas Retirement Home is doing their part to make sure our men and women serving overseas are not forgotten. Our Bob Hallmark has more on care packages being put together for troops overseas one unit at a time. But I feel like Mother Nature is holding me hostage because all I want to do is mow my yard and I can't because I feel like it's going to rain on me. Yeah, oh, I'm well. sure a lot of yards <laughs> right now, that grass is getting pretty tall out Yeah, there. we won't judge each other, though. Just let it happen. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Brad. You bet. A man in Texas was stunned to find a bull shark near the Trinity River. As Deborah Regley explains, it's a mystery how it got there. A husband and wife, who are both former volunteer firefighters, now face criminal charges. An 18-page arrest affidavit details a list of expenses Terry and Tiffany McKee charged on the Rosevine Volunteer Fire Department's debit card. When confronted by investigators, the McKees claimed many of the charges were approved by the fire chief but couldn't give an explanation for others. The charges not approved included water bills, an Arctic cooler, meals, and much more. They are each charged with debit card abuse. Tonight, we learn the story of a Nacogdoches County family who survived a bad wreck. The crash caused a life-changing injury for a little boy. The accident has led to a community-wide effort to create change on a dangerous highway. 
The movement is in behalf of five year old Kason Snyder, his sister and mother who are using their survival in a way to save the lives of others. Donna McCollum introduces us to Kason as tonight's survivor. New tonight, a bill aimed at making direct access dialing to 911 federal law is on the Senate calendar for this session. The Carries Law Act of 2017 requires public buildings to provide direct access to 911 rather than requiring an extra digit to reach an outside line. The bill is named after Carrie Hunt, who was murdered by her estranged husband at a Marshall Hotel in 2013. Hunt's daughter was there and had made several failed attempts to dial 911, but did not know an extra digit was required to get an outside line. Carrie's law is already in effect in Texas and a version of the federal Carrie's law already passed in the House. Donald Trump Jr. is defending his meeting with a Russian lawyer during his father's campaign for president. The president's son, along with his son-in-law and then campaign manager, met with the lawyer to discuss information about Hillary Clinton. Stacey Cohen has the latest from Washington. The Texas Lottery Commission says an East Texas store had the lucky ticket worth $2 million. A Mega Millions ticket purchased at the Quickway number 16 convenience store in Jasper had five of the five winning numbers in the July 11th drawing. Because the winning ticket had a mega plier, it meant that the person's jackpot was doubled from 1 million to 2 million. The Quickway store, which is located in the 2100 block of North Wheeler Street in Jasper, will also get a bonus for selling the winning ticket. In this case, the Quickway store will get a $20,000 bonus. The fourth annual Great Texas Balloon Race is just around the corner. Organizers have teamed up with Longview's Art from the Heart program to solidify Longview with ballooning. It's a secret project, but our Jamie Boyham got a sneak peek. A 62 year old Chester man is going to prison for six years after pleading guilty to attacking two deputies back in February. Roy Johnson kicked a deputy who was arresting him for criminal trespass. He then assaulted a jailer while he was being booked into jail. Johnson was being arrested because he broke into the home of his neighbor. When deputies came to the scene, they found Johnson back at his home where he made a reference to a sand pit blowing up then ran to a shed. The Angelina County Sheriff's Office has filed a new charge against a man who threatened to kill his twin girls. Christopher Dwyer now faces a charge of sexual assault. The victim claims Dwyer sexually assaulted her in February of 2016. Dwyer is now being held in the Angelina County Jail on the sexual assault charge. Two counts of endangering a child, prohibited weapon and terroristic threat. While no bail has been set for the new charge, his bail on the old charges total $80,000. What started as a criminal trespass call ended with a stolen ambulance. A patient taken to Good Shepherd Hospital in Longview walked out of the emergency room and drove off in an ambulance. Our Jamie Boyant was on the scene moments after he was taken into custody. Heat, you kind of have to balance the equation. Yeah, and I'm no weatherman, but I would highly encourage download the KTRE weather app so you don't get caught off guard by those pop-up showers. You can follow the radar, and it's free. That's the My best favorite news. price. I know, exactly. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you, Brad. You In Arlington, neighbors helping neighbors is nothing new, but there is a new way that kindness is inspiring others. City officials are now inviting residents to report acts of kindness by picking up their cell phones. Bradley Blackburn has the story. The body of a missing Jasper man was found today at Lake Sam Rayburn. 57 year old William Harding went missing over the weekend at Lake Sam Rayburn. His empty boat was found at Smith Cove in Angelina County on Sunday. Helicopters were brought in this morning to assist with the search. A rescuer with the U.S. Corps of Engineers was searching the lake on a jet ski when he discovered Harding's body. This week's best furry friend is very much in touch with the royal side. Buffy is a two year old German Shepherd mix who started out life as a rascal and as we found out is already acting like a princess.